All right, today we are going to start on the uh, getting the sheeting on the house. Uh, we're using half-inch plywood. Uh, sometimes you can use OSB and stuff like that, but the engineer is calling for plywood. Um, I think it's because it's the hybrid, so it's relying on it for some of its strength. Um, it's going to be hot today, so we're starting on this side. We'll do a couple of rows on this side, and then I'm going to move around to the back where it's shaded for the afternoon. Uh, and then probably late afternoon, we'll do what we did yesterday, and I'll be in the basement doing uh, squash blocks and point loads and all that. Fun day! We are in um, last week of July, um, 27th, 28th, something like that, and catching my breath. So we had some friends down uh, over the last week or so, so I don't have a lot of video footage of last week's tasks, because um, they're our friends, they're a little bit camera shy, I know, weird, right? They don't want their face plastered all over this social media. I don't get it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we it's just easier when, you know, I respect their wishes and uh, it's easier just not to have cameras out for that kind of stuff. Um, you didn't really miss much as far as filming goes. We got, we have our exterior walls up. Um, you've seen walls go up, so. Uh, we have this gable end done um, and then this exterior wall but then I, all I have left as far as exterior walls is the gable end here. And that one's a little bit, I'm, I'm still, I think the only way to do that one is gonna to be to build it in place. Cause I don't know how I would build it on the ground and then raise it up there. Um, it's, well, anyway, I look at it, it's a little bit tough. I'd probably have to crawl out on the ridge beam to nail the top section. Uh, scaffolding is there but it reaches up most of the way but not quite all the way so yeah any way I look at it it's gonna be a little bit a little bit awkward um, but this week is going to be mostly uh, just kind of doing some finishing up I've got to do there's still a few things on the corners here need to be secured in um, a little bit more bracing on that end wall there down to make sure that that wall is nice and square. Uh, then I need to do the the point loads all the way down to the basement. Uh, basically a point load is where that window comes down and meets the ground. Underneath that floor we need to put some solid blocking to carry that load down to the wall below it. And then we have to do the same thing in the basement for all of those loads, like all the point loads down there. We have to carry that down to the foundation. Uh, it's not hard work, it's just uh, tedious and, and slow going, but it is about time the house is getting loaded up. Lots of weight being put on the floors uh, and the walls. I do have all the point loads done for the big beams and the timbers in the basement, uh, just because of the amount of weight that was involved. Uh, and then I have to like secure posts to the walls and hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday I can start actually putting the sheeting on from tying the rest of these floors together and getting the outside sheeted. Because uh, I'm hoping by the end of the week to be starting to put trusses on the roof, or rafters on the roof. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. That's kind of the big the big thing for this year is to get the, the house dried in. So, you know, once the roof system's on, then we can do windows and, you know, get, a, get an inspection done. So over the winter, we can move on. But uh, I'm just getting some tools together for the day. Uh, and then we'll just get a little footage here and there of uh, how my day goes.
There's a well-known saying about a creek and a paddle that describes the situation I've gotten myself in here. The idea was simple, to set the new plywood on top of the row that was already installed, slide it over, and butt it up to the sheet to the right. However, what actually happened was I set it on top of it. When I tried to slide it over, it got caught up on the 2x6 uh, stud from the wall. And now, there's no way to get the piece of plywood back off. I tried reaching under and, and getting the edge. I tried to let it fall towards me and be able to grab it. But there was no way to safely do it without the plywood falling on me or the ground or breaking or something else. I had accidentally left the radio running, so I had to cut the audio from this section. But it's probably a good thing, because there was a whole slew of cuss words coming out of my mouth at this moment. finally decided the only way I was going to get out of this was to put a screw into the plywood as high up as I could and then go up into the loft, undo the screw, and move the plywood over. Apparently a better way is needed. Okay, so this is obviously not working, this method. <laughs> um, when I did the lower walls, if you remember from the video, uh, we put the plywood on before we raised it. Made it a little bit heavier, but it's easier to square it up. Now the reason I didn't do it, put the plywood on this one, is because of that overhang between the, the first floor and the second floor. I wanted that to be, um, I wanted it all to line up and help tie everything together. And my father-in-law, he was over here, and he said, well, how come you didn't like just put the plywood on, leave a foot, and then you could always go back and scab that, that one foot in, uh, the one foot in. And it's a brilliant plan, but my OCD wouldn't allow that because then there'd be gaps and, and I, don't, I didn't want that. So this is my punishment for, you know, my OCD, I guess. Like that's already not punishment enough. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So now I'll go, I'll go spend a few minutes, set up some scaffolding uh, and then I'll rock. Let's try this again. No. Oh. 
yesterday is over and tomorrow ain't either. Although I've been seven years sober, can't stop looking. Well, I think that's all I can get from the scaffolding. Uh, there is another level on that scaffolding, but it's pretty shaky as it is. I'm sitting on sand, not my favorite. So I'm gonna uh, put a ladder up on the inside and an extension ladder from the outside and I can uh, just drop it over and, and tack it in there and then extension ladder from the outside. It's only like, I don't know, three feet or so, so it won't be too bad. But I'm just gonna uh, continue on around the other sides now and then uh, this is going to allow me to start putting uh, the rafters on without the walls buckling out under the weight. Hey guys, uh, so it is Friday. Uh, I haven't checked in in a couple of days, but you really haven't missed much. <laughs> uh, spent a couple of days just getting the sheeting on the outside, uh, around the outside edges from the first floor up. Um, Scaffolding work. Once I got the uh, the hang of it down, it wasn't too bad. Um, scaffolding gets a little rickety when it gets high like that, but um, you know, you, it takes more time to move it. But it made uh, it made actually nailing the plywood on a whole lot easier. So there's still one row to go around on these side walls. It's about uh, I think just under three feet. Um, but I'm going to do that from a ladder on the inside, uh, just because it'll be easy to hang over and and tack in. Um, the back wall because it's 12 feet has. Uh, I think three more feet on top of that, so it's about six feet at the peak. Uh, but once I have the scaffolding over there ready to do rafters, I'll finish that edge up. Uh, I put this wall together, uh, interior wall. Uh, it's the back of the bathroom and the, you know, from the stairs and all that kind of stuff. It's a two by six wall only because it's a wet wall. Uh, it's got plumbing and stuff like that in it, so they, they make the wall cavity bigger. Um, it shouldn't be too heavy because um, there's no window headers or anything like that in it. So I'm pretty sure I could probably lift it on my own, but we'll see how this goes. If it falls, no laughing. Thank you. 
Building 101, when you're using air tools, make sure you're... There we go, leveled, installed. Now I can do the top plate and plywood.